Six months ago, I I never thought I'd be making a video like this. Welcome to my second channel. I'm not Card K-Pop today because I'm making pointless videos that I don't want to upload on my main channel because I literally have no points other than to say, I like new jeans. Which seriously, like I mentioned at the beginning, I did not think I'd be saying this right now. I, when New Jeans debuted or pre-debuted, like they, they were okay. I respected the songs. I didn't hate them, but I, I didn't love them, right? And now, even nowadays, even the like, hype point attention, it's like I respect them as successful K-pop songs, but I don't. I'm not in love with them. I don't listen to them all the time, right? And then even Cookie, like. Well, I thought Cookie was a decent song. Like, you know, the lyrics with their ages and everything, you know, it's like, should I even listen to this? It's kind of weird. <sighs> Fast forward to January of 2023 when they've released now Ditto and OMG. I like New Jeans. Every problem I had pre-debut and debut with New Jeans, they fixed. My biggest musical problem outside of their ages and questionable lyrics and cookie was I found the verses to be a little bit boring. I loved the concept of the sound concept they were going for, the chill vibes. I loved it. That's like what I'm loving in K-pop and just music right now. But the verses were just a little too dry for me in, in attention and hype boy. Tell the block, I can eat, I can see. Hey, you see. Hey, hey, hey. They fixed everything in Ditto and OMG. The verses are really good. It is a very great transitions. You almost don't even notice when the verse is happening in the second verse of OMG. It's almost like it goes from chorus to chorus, but it doesn't. It's wild. They've done so much better. They picked up exactly what I did not like, and I'm going to go over why. I like New Jeans, specifically OMG. I'm not going to talk about Ditto as much because Ditto was really good, but OMG is that song for me, at least in 2023. I know it's only been two weeks, but jeez, as this year started off so good. Let's dive into this. So choreography. Yeah, who would have guessed I would be talking about choreography to make me like a song? This is one of the handful of times a choreo has made me like a song. What? I know. I never thought like it does not happen that much, but. It did with OMG, and it's like specifically a few of these parts, like you know the chorus choreo right here. This part is just really fun to watch. Like they all do, I love it when they do different things, and I don't know why, but that like lazy like step thing where it kind of looks like they're drunk walking sideways, I love it. I don't know why. I just think it looks really good. It looks clean, I guess. And then more specifically, this part right here that you're watching on the screen where it's like kind of like a hide-and-seek thing, I love that. It reminds me of a baby metal choreography, which isn't like a good dancing type of choreo. It's just weird. <laughs> But I love that they put that in a K-pop choreo song that's all about doing like complex dances now. And it's like the entire bridges, breakdowns, uh, you know, complex dance is like Hani going hide and seek almost. I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it, it's just, it's funny to me. I love that. I love watching that. And speaking of which, I am Hani biased because of this song. I love her part in this. It is really nice. Um, but let's talk about the, the, the musical part of this now, which is Hani's part in the chorus. Is super catchy and I love that you know during the drunk walk and everything and like her doing the the, the OMG part of OMG <laughs> oh my god part I love it I think that's super catchy and then on top of that after is it Danielle who does it next I, I don't remember who does it the second part of that but they go after that and then there's kind of like this post course or secondary course and I forgot her name Han I, I, please correct me if I'm wrong I'm not an expert on new jeans yet she has this like a rasp at the end of her verse. Na 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 twenty four. No, I can never let him go. I'm not singing the twenty four. Don't hang on, I am too alone. No, I know. That's actually such good, like so good sounding. I don't know. It's probably really unhealthy of her voice, and there's someone out there on Twitter complaining about it. But hell, it made me a huge fan of this song. I love that part. Crazy good. I I just I, I absolutely adore this song. It is such a good song. They fixed every problem I had. <laughs> I guess like the other big thing is there's no unnecessary rapping. I love that. There's the rapping would ruin the song for me. They did not do that either. So yeah, pointless video. I'm just saying OMG is a bop. I love this song. It is already one of my favorite songs of the year, even though I've only listened to four new songs that come out this year so far. 
but I, I've had this on repeat. It's, 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 it's so good, man. It's so good. It's their best song for me. I'm sorry. Anyways, this was my pointless video. I like new jeans. I'm honey biased now, apparently. OMG is a bop of a song, and hopefully I keep liking the song as much throughout the rest of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed the second channel video. I'll see you guys in the main channel. Bye!